Alright, so it's the 1910s in New York City. The concrete jungle, as many would call it. This began the boom of culture, art, and shopping in New York. And this would continue into the 1920s. America started building bigger buildings and bigger dreams. In 1914, the Catskills Resort would open its doors as a boarding house and a very small boarding house to mention as well. This boarding house, when it opened, didn't have running water or electricity. In the 1920s though, this small boarding house would grow to have its own landing strip and later have its own post office. In 1919, a family would purchase this small boarding house and turn it into a very small hotel. And finally, the once small boarding house would have running water and electricity. The 1920s was a time where Jewish families and Jewish people were kind of outcasted by American society. But the owners of this hotel didn't really seem to follow the generic normal policies which everyone else followed. And also didn't follow their own stereotypes as well. In fact, they gave a pretty warm welcome to all Jewish families staying at the resort, or at this time a very small hotel. This warm welcome wouldn't be soon forgotten by these Jewish families, and in fact, they kept coming. A lot. At the same time, in the 1920s, music was changing, and jazz was all the craze. And while today jazz music may be seen as somewhat pretty freaking normal, back then artists like Louis Armstrong, King Oliver, and Jelly Morton were absolutely scaring the hell out of parents. And such began many condescending terms towards the culture of the youth in the 1920s. The term dirty dancing was coined by the older, angrier generation, and weirdly enough, the crossing of resort seems to impact history once again by supposedly inspiring and nurturing a lot of this so-called dirty dancing. Well, we decided to make the three hour trip out to New York to go and see this place for ourselves, so check it out and I'll see you guys later in the video. Big old building. Some mirrors sometimes. Like yeah, like right there. Oh you can't see it. Oh well. Yeah, there's mirrors half the time. And it's quite terrible. This place is big. I'm off on my own. Oh wow. That's where we just were. This place is pretty massive, for the most part. Oh yeah, that's a box spring and a mattress. I'm guessing somebody played paintball here earlier. At some point, it's a good place to play paintball to be honest with you. Paintball, airsoft, oh yeah. Very good. Oh God. 
This feels dangerous. I think I'm going to go around. Uh, there we go. It's so convenient just to walk through a wall. Yeah, I know. It's super convenient. Most of them are really, really gutted out, like, entirely. Yeah. And there's, like, nothing left of them. But... Ugh. It's just kind of crazy that, like, look, there's literally freaking still... Oh, asbestos. Look at these. There's still the key things. There's still the key things. Put your key in and shit. I think that's so cool. Yeah, the key card slots. Just picking this. Sorry. Right I'm glad that there's. It literally looks like that there's more, though. For what we were told earlier, it has a good view, so. I feel like there's more. Oh, yeah, there's definitely There's gotta be more. Oh, yes. Yes, it is. And then here's our little entrance. Back into the locker rooms. Nothing on the ceiling. Nothing over there. <coughs> um, I don't know. Here must have been. Those must have been like, I'm pretty sure these rooms. It had to be. Oh shit. Sauna. There's sauna rooms. Oh, the rocks are over too. Yeah, there's sauna. Don't get started, but uh. Oh, that is so uncool. <laughs> so uncool. I thought it was like, oh! I thought it was like a dead body or something at first. I was like, oh, great. Oh. Well, you got lucky. And that's where it comes down to. You got lucky. Leave it. I still love coming up these stairs. It's just kind of funny to think, like, at this point, when you see stuff like this, you kind of got to start to just wonder, is there anything that can't be abandoned? <laughs> mm, which way do you think the roof would be? Uh, What's up? Yeah, they're not even touched. All the lights up there aren't even broken or touched. I want to try to find a way up. Because I really want to get up there. One fell. Oh, uh, here's a ladder. Yeah, that doesn't help. Yeah, because we did not check down here. I mean, we came from down here, but I don't think we checked for stairs over here. Oh, shit. Woo! Watch out. Oh, shit. Nope. Back up. Back up. Just back up. Why? It's just whole, whole, whole. This is entirely just like... This whole, whole, whole. It's just... Dude, don't... Do no... Don't step there. Oh, crap. You're going to fall through the floor. There, <sighs> no ladder. No way up. Unless... Found it? Yeah. Sweet. Got stairs to get it tied to. There's at least two more flights. <laughs> yeah. No. 
one there going up there. I think Yeah, yeah, we can just follow a death. Suicide pact! Ah. What? Oh god. Just go back in. Yes, indeed. These are just rooms. On the top deck. I guess dying is not the best idea. I will not die. For the vlog. Still didn't want to check out what was in here. I mean, we got to see it a little bit, but we didn't get to actually go in. Because it looks like those dudes already left. I'm assuming this was probably like. Probably actually nothing too special. It was probably just a place where they had all the. Maybe like a cafeteria or something like that. It's where they stored stuff, I'm sure. Oh god. Oh. Oh. Yeah. That's a no-no. That is a no-go, my friend. No. Go. No, we were already here. This is where we were uh, when we ran. It's just nothingness. Yeah. So I guess this entire place was just nothingness. Yep. Let's move on. Okay. It's very sunny. Very, very sunny. Oh shit, wait, look, straight ahead. That looks like something. Nothing. Well. Doesn't look like it was from this entrance. I can tell you that much. Yeah, it looks like there's a pathway. I guess around to the front. You want to try it? Yeah. Why not? How patch it. Eight camera Patrick. Oh, is this only one floor? No, there's stairs on both sides. It's just probably it's gutted. Like above, no, it's probably just gutted, you're right. He's definitely up Still actually in here. I mean not much stuff. And not very well preserved stuff, but stuff. There. Put you there. Apparently this is the top floor according to this side. I was saying, where do you think we should go? Next. The Grossinger's Resort would carry into the 1950s, opening a golf course, swimming pool, and post office. Not to mention adding a skiing resort in 1952 
which would be the first in the world to use fake snow on its slopes. At the same time, the resort was trying to separate itself from the tuberculosis sanatoriums just a few miles down the road. By the way, when the Grossinger's Resort filed for its own post office, it also filed for city designation and then would become known as Grossinger's New York. Jenny Grossinger, a member of the only family of the Grossinger Resort, was known for treating her guests like family and even to top it off, raised millions for the U.S. Army during World War II. In response, they named an aircraft after her, just in her honor, just to show their appreciation. Jenny Crossinger put the Catskills Resort on the map, while simultaneously doing everything she could to make the world a better place, and sadly would die in 1972. Ever since, the gigantic complex has sat abandoned, except for the one golf course that remains active till this day. I thought the greenhouse. How many people are going by now? I thought the greenhouse was kind of cool. The greenhouse? Yeah. Two more beers. I always think it's kind of funny because like, the way I view that is that's like probably the last two beers the two worker dudes had here before they closed it down. And they left the beer cans. I think that's pretty cool. What's the greenhouse you're talking about? The one right in front of our face. Oh, that? Looks pretty collapsed in. Yeah, that part. I just looked down everything else was pretty dang. Yeah, you know what? Cool oh, great. It's fucking thorn. Awesome. Man, fucking fast. Ow! I always thought three houses were kind of cool. They are kind of cool if you think about it. Place There's they... nothing in here, but... I wonder why they had a greenhouse. Did they like just grow their own food and stuff? Pop or maybe there's like a butterfly in there? Oh yeah, that could be cool for like the kids or something. Yeah, because zoos have those all the time. Oh my gosh. Abandoned oh. golf carts. See, look at that. It's awesome. That is cool. It is cool. As I said, you should probably just come in. It's very interesting. Yeah? There's stairs that lead down there. Oh, I won't even bother with that. Nah. Just. Uh, it's kind of interesting. Kind of strange. They just love the golf carts too. Like, there's nothing sacred to these people. Key card? What? You're kidding. No, yeah, sponge from on the floor. No, there's not. That is awesome. Uh, that is really strange. There it is. What? I'll get you some food soon, you'll be feeling great. This is cool though, oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at all this. Okay, yeah, no, I'm not gonna go, I don't think we should go any farther. I mean, it looks really cool in there, don't get me wrong, but. We can uh, just go around. Uh, let's just, yeah, let's just go around then. Is it just me or does the ground feel kind of rubbery? Yeah, it does a little. I wonder if we can just like scoot around anywhere just to see what it looks like. You got on the other side. Does it look like there's anywhere you could stand in there? Uh, the stairs actually kind of works over here. I mean, I've tried, but like, this, is, this side is like literally total decimation. It's over here. Yeah, there's more in here. Yeah. Mops against the wall. No, uh, this is bathroom. That's like this is like a museum. What? Literally, there's mops against the wall. Oh, mops. Thanks. Like sewing machines, mops. And okay, no wait, we're getting towards something. Oh, there's a bathroom. Okay, never mind. Oh wow. Cool. Check it out. Fine. Untouched bathroom. It's the ladies' room. It's the ladies' room. We're in the ladies' room. Alright. What are we going to do first? We are going to... Let's go to the green building. Oh yeah. Let's do it. Awesome. 
Yes, it is. Hey, you in a second. I'm gonna check this out. Fireplace on the couch, so you can just sit around checking out your surroundings. Pretty cool. Kind of crazy. See what families used to just gather around here after their day of winter fun in the mountains. Dude, this is awesome. It's a literal car. That's what I'm saying, bro. No license plates? Registered 2017. No, this is someone's car. Let's go. Oh wow. It's the indoor tennis courts. Found this weird ski thing. TVs. Yeah, we're staying on tennis courts actually at the moment. How awesome is this? This is like this uh yeah, it's that's a track. But what's that? It's for turbine stuff. Update left the last building because we thought we were trespassing. It didn't feel like getting in trouble. So now we're here. Broken toilet. I was just gonna come here for the roof shots. I don't know, but I'm just curious if there's anything. There's nothing beside that desk. Oh look, one desk. It's actually kind of a cool picture. Well, that's all that we found, and I'll see you guys next time. Quick update though. Last week I posted a video about my first upcoming news story. The story mostly focuses on ghost culture on the East Coast. Things are going pretty well and hopefully in the next couple weeks I, the video will be coming out and the story will be done. As of right now though, we're still in the shooting period and hopefully later on down the line you guys get to see it. But as of right now, this is what we got. And I wanted to get this video out to you even though it's a week or two old. Uh, like I said, I have been focusing on my other story. But yeah, that's what's going on in my life. So I'll see you guys next time. And have a great week. Have a great two weeks. I don't know. I'll be back eventually. Peace.